without being physical in the contest early. Jock, you're not in an amazing position, but you crashed the pack and we're able to get a stoppage out of it, which is fantastic. Kick out from deep in our defensive 50. We turn it over. Okay, not ideal, but whatever. From here, we talked about we want to look up and they see pairs everywhere. One scotch jumper and one Ogs jumper, and yet he's able to hit a short, uncontested target. Watch number 41 in this clip. This is the difference between running alongside someone and actually playing on someone, right? We're near enough to him, but we're not actually impacting anything he does. Saucy, good saving mark. Kick doesn't quite come off, but I'm happy you take the game on like this. We want to keep being brave with the ball. This is something we highlighted, especially in, given slippery conditions, not over committing into a contest. Jake makes the initial tackle, Lever goes in, then Blackley goes in. So we've got three guys in there, ball spits out to a Scotch guy, Simo saves us with a good tackle. This is how good teams are able to move the ball when we don't stick to the plan, right? We talked about pairs everywhere and look how quickly they were able to transition it when we gave them time and space to move the ball. 20 seconds from back pocket to goal. Jack, good use of the body. Rat, excellent clearance. Zayf playing in front, nice mark. You see there's not a lot of ahead of the ball for you to kick to, but in this case, push back, take your time and go long to the top of the square like we talk about. Same thing. So this is what happens when you give teams with high levels of skill time and space to possess the ball. Pressure's okay here, ideally, but then it's three on two and they ended up getting it out. Saucy, so good work to slow them down. Kick inside, we're not covering the corridor well enough. Not manning the mark particularly well there. Down he's out the back. And then it's a one-on-one -on -one deep inside 50. This just highlights the importance of keeping the ball in front of us, right? Lose the clearance, okay, that's going to happen. Three tools fly in the same contest and the ball still gets over the back. Horse is under pressure. They end up clearing it away and quickly are going coast to coast for a score. Look at the way Jamison engages Hutz at the top of the ball here. Uses his body really well, able to get a clean clearance away, and horse has no chance on the lead. This is all about how quickly we can spread away from a contest. Right? Johnny Reid does a good job, intercept Mark. Hands, Jake, long ball, not really to anyone. But now look at our mids from that initial contest. We're still within 10, 15 metres of where we were 10 seconds ago whereas Scotch have all spread across the ground and are getting in an attacking position. Jock, good spot. Happy with the kick. Now watch number 30 here. So he's getting the handball right now. See how he accelerates through the course of this contest. He's working hard, working hard, working hard. Yes, it's a skill error, so he doesn't get it back. But he's actually worked harder than all of us and they're able to get a free kick. This is probably a good example of when you need to take territory. We win a uh, free kick out of a stoppage. Sammy, I'm sure there's not a heap ahead of you, but in this case, just get the ball moving forward, right? Straight away, we make it really, really difficult for ourselves. We've gone 40 metres sideways, and we end up turning it over. This is a reasonable patch of play, right? We're calm with the ball. We're controlled. We're not taking any unnecessary risks. Push back off the mark. Look short, look lateral if you need to, control possession of the ball. We switch it relatively well from one side back to the other. We're trying to move their attackers. We're waiting for the option to present itself. Jack gets involved multiple times, as does horse. Good. Catch you out running. Now we've spread them. Now we're out. What's the point if we're going to kick it out in the full? You guys tell me, 
how many uncontested marks in a row Scotts are able to take in this passage of play. We said you can't allow teams with high skill levels the chance to possess the ball because if you do, they will hurt you. I think it's eight or nine marks they're able to take uncontested in a row and it ends up with a good-looking shot at goal. Just an example of picking in the option here, right? Jack, you're probably off balance when you handball it, as is Mickey. We're forced into an ugly kick, which hopefully goes up the line, but it goes a little bit too far in board. Scotts are able to turn it over, and from a free kick situation, we've ended up copying a goal against us within 15 seconds. Go, Eddie! 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 Go,